Hi students, this is Sister Nasia from the Department of English. Today you are going to study the novel The Color Purple by Alice Walker. The learning outcomes from this novel are to study the concepts of ethical, moral and issues explored in The Color Purple are still relevant in today's society. LO2 to examine racism, sexism, and stereotypes in the past and in the present society. LO3, to demonstrate their understanding of the text on four levels, factual, interpretive, critical, and personal. And the last one is to make connections with the material in the text and apply the lessons learned to their lives. Alice Walker was born on February 9, 1944, in a small rural town of Georgia. In 1952, her brother Curtis accidentally shot Alice in the eye with a gun. The physical result was that Alice lost the sight in her right eye, which developed a disfiguring white scar. Psychologically, she grew more introspective contending with feelings of sadness, alienation, and betrayal. With the help of her great mother, Walker enrolled at college in Atlanta, Georgia in 1961, where she quickly became involved in the civil rights movement. In 1964, Walker transferred to Sarah Lawrence College where Walker's commitment to becoming a writer was nurtured. She married Melvin in 1967 at the age of 23 and divorced nine years later in 1976. American author, poet and activist Alice Walker wrote both fiction and essays about race and gender. As a student of Spelman College in the 1960s, Walker got a chance to meet Martin Luther King III and credits him for her choice to be an activist. She won Pulitzer Prize and National Book Award for Fiction for the Color Purple and O. Henry Award for the novel Kindred Spirits. She wrote a number of books and you can read them. These are some of the books that she had written. The Color Purple novel by Alice Walker published in 1982. As I said already, it won a Pulitzer Prize in 1983. A feminist work about an abused and uneducated African-American woman's struggle for empowerment. The Color Purple was praised for the depth of its female characters and for its eloquent use of black English vernacular. When the novel opens, Seely is a young black girl living in Georgia in the early years of the 20th century. She is an uneducated girl and writes her letters in common language. Celie is entering her adolescence believing she was raped by her father and that he killed both of their children. She writes to God because she was no one else to write to. Celie believes only to God may she talk honestly and openly about her suffering. Slowly, Celie evolves into a mature woman with great confidence, but not before her sister Nettie is taken away from her and she marries a cruel man who wanted to marry Nettie. For a long time, Celie is almost a slave to her husband until her husband's mistress comes to live with them to recuperate from her sickness and Celie becomes her nurse. Shrug is a strong woman and encourages Celie to grow stronger. 
at the same time sophia silly's daughter in law shows silly to stand up for herself and fight prejudice and injustice and fight by the end of the novel silly's new strength pays off because she can live happily with the people she loves she reunites with neti and her two children who have been raised by neti silly learned to fight to stand up for herself and she was rewarded silly was able to survive physically and spiritually and can mature into a full modern 20th century woman Alice Walker describes how both the African American men and women have faced oppression in terms of race, class and ethnicity. The color purple has represented the very bottom structure of the society. Walker not only describes the oppression and suffering of black women but also suggests certain solutions for these tribulations in the novel. Female characters such as Seely, Shagavari, Netty and Sophia in the color purple are dominated both psychologically and physically. Seely the downtrodden, degraded, despised, abused is transformed into an independent and liberated woman at the end of the novel. Let us look at some of the themes in the novel. In the color purple Alice Walker can illustrate the abuse neglect and oppression a black woman had to go through in the early 20th century she also illustrates how a woman must fight back to regain the self esteem and confidence lost way back in the early adolescent years the color purple is a strong A story about growth, endurance, and fight, all nurtured by love. Some of the important themes are God and spirituality, race and racism, men, women, and gender roles, and self-discovery. The major themes in the novel that had plagued and tormented the characters throughout the novel are. inside the larger context of the misery inflicted by a racist society that has discriminated against by the white community walker gives a message through the color purple for the women to be strong and enjoy their lives let us conclude by saying The novel brings a spirit of celebration and also the perspectives of Seely who also comes to joy and ultimately makes her celebrate life that turns into pleasures including the color purple in her life. The episodic form of the novel also develops in the character's understanding of consciousness that has been raised and the terms of feminism and liberation have been established so dear students coming to know the story of color purple we shall look into ourselves and in our society whether this these themes exist even now thank you